I'm Lynn and welcome to another day at Utopia Farms. Today we're going to do something different. Um, we've had a lot of people asking for information about our rams and stuff that are for sale and I think I mentioned to you guys before that it's always difficult to go in and get photos and find the rams and do all that stuff so I thought we would make one video of all the rams we have available that are for sale right now and uh, do a little synopsis on all of those rams so if you'd like to see our rams the ones that were that are looking for new homes anyway stay with us so we have people asking about the rams all the time that we have for sale and we figured putting them in a little video clip might let you see them all together. Okay. This ram here is cocaine. He's um, a really good legged ram. He's from Hamish. We took him to the shows last year and he did really well. He placed first in one of the shows based on his good confirmation. He's sold right now. He's going to be heading to Vancouver Island in British, in British Columbia. This ram was born in the fall. He's a fall born ram. <coughs> He's a He's a twin. He's from our ram Gimli. He's a very long ram. Good legs. If you want to put length in your use, he's a good ram for that. He's good on his feet and legs. Good testicles. Um, when he gets over a year old, this is going to be a really big bodied ram. Put that front leg forward a bit. There we go. Okay, he's 426, twin from Gimli, born in the fall. <coughs> he's a lamb, high capacity. Okay, and his sire is from Atkinson. Gimli and Atkinson. This is BL421. He is also a ram lamb from Gimli, fall born ram lamb. He's also a twin. So he's from Gimli and he's got a really good back and top line on him. Good front, front end, good head. Let's see. His front looks good. Hi. And who did we say he is? He's BL421 from Gimli, a twin, fall born ram lamb. Really long, really good top line. Good testicles. Good front end. Okay. And this guy's tag is BL428. He's a twin from our Ram Gimli and one of our own homebred ewes. Again, um, all of our Dorset Rams are really long in the body. He's right up on his tippy toes. He's got good um, Dorset um, 
wool traits, the wool on the legs and in the proper places on the head. Um, what else can we say about him, Ernie? He's nice. Yeah, he's, he's actually, uh, he's not, he's not going to be a monster, but he's actually uh, probably one of the better well-placed yeah. ones. Um, some people don't want them tall, and this guy, here, let's fix his back leg a little, move his back leg up a bit so we can see his back leg. There, you can see there. He's well up on his toes, that's for sure, and he is a twin. All of our dorsets are... The mothers were bred without the use of cedars naturally. They bred out of season. Um, good, yeah, this is a little quieter. This is, I would say, a more medium sized ram. He's going to be a nice ram, I think, this one. I'm going to put a star on this guy. This is Casanova. He's, um, I think he's a January lamb. I can't remember his birthday. So he's a yearling. He's a big guy. He's really good on his legs, really long. And because he's hit that year old mark, he's uh, starting to fill out and get that bulk to him that the lambs don't usually display yet. Maybe a little bit of a taller than you'd like to have him, but this this guy is a frame maker. Maybe maybe you score more over frame than muscling, but he has a lot of muscle on him. But I think he's a frame maker. He's good good length, good width, good overall ram. A ram that I wouldn't hesitate to use myself. Okay, so, and we said it was Casanova. That's right. Okay, also a fall-born lamb from Gimli, also a twin. Um, this one is not registerable. We don't register, not all our sheep are registered, but uh, he's as close to registerable as you could get. Um, yeah, another long ram. Hi, buddy really good on his legs right up on his tippy toes good straight back long wide at the back end good testicles again if you don't care about papers you can't go wrong with that ram do you want to let him walk a little bit so we can see see how when he naturally he stands naturally he holds his legs apart you want to see that so when I say fall born these were mostly September October and November lambs this guy is another unregistered dorset so he'd be a dorset Rito cross but the Rito is really far back they're mainly dorset He's a fall-born ram lamb. He's from a ram we got out of Quebec, Dorset ram, who was part of the CPOC program in Quebec. For those of you who know that program, they got lots of awards, I believe, and they were the starters of the people who started Genovis <laughs> testing. He is a single. If you want some different bloodlines that uh, not too many people have the, the bloodlines from, <laughs> coming from Quebec. <laughs> That's okay. There, he looks actually good there because now he's holding his feet wide. <laughs> there, that looks a little better there. <laughs> there he is. So did I say his number? I'm going to tell you his number again because I don't think I said the number. He is BL448. BL448, fall born Dorset grade ram lamb. He's a single. Like all of these guys are right up on their pasterns. Okay. Okay, this is the registered version 
of the RAM, the previous RAM 448. This is BL449. He's registered and he is also out of the RAM from Quebec. Registered BL449. Oh, <laughs> he had him good there. Hey buddy, walk around a little. Not jump over, not jump over. There we go. Okay. So this attractive green-headed ram is something rare we're breeding for. He's out of our ram sheriff. We showed him last year at the fairs. He's a yearling ram. It's extremely long. Good on his feet. What bloodlines? He's from Sheriff and one of our country. one of our own ewes, and so he would be uh, New Zealand bloodlines. Hey Bob. So he's got the more terminal muscling on him. So, really nice ram. That's why we put him in the shows last year. We picked um, our top three rams to bring to the shows. And Cash was one of them. Really heavy ram, really long. I don't know, can't see too much wrong with him. This is BL227. His name is Klondike. He is also from our sheriff ram and also a ram we showed last year at the fairs who did really well who has lots of muscling. These are yearling rams. Really heavy, more terminal breed rams. Um, when you compare these to like an Ile de France, which would be their big comparison, what these guys have over an Ile de France is that they are, they have more capacity. They are quite a lot longer and they're a little bit taller. They also breed out of season. Now this guy is a muscle machine. This is Klondike. And all our rams also are just fed hay and a little bit of grain each day. They're not on TMR or any special ration. Um, they're not pumped up or anything. They have to, they have to cope with, um, we've got about 50 rams here and they are all in there together. So this is our flock, flock sire Sheriff. Sheriff is the father of Cash and Klondike. So, when Cash and Klondike are two, you can expect them to look just like this boy. Good leg placement. Great testicles on him. Throws extremely nice slams for us. He, we can guarantee they get good muscular lambs out of this boy. Good bone. Really good bone. Really good bone. That's what um, the New Zealand and Austra Australian people put the good bones on these sheep. But he is a New Z from New Zealand bloodlines. Well. So this one is Hamish. He's the dad of cocaine. He's one of our flock sires here. He's Australian bloodlines. He's not the one standing up with his head over. He's the one standing at side view to me. 
So that's him. I'll show you all the dads of the lambs show we showed you. This here is the Seapoc Graham Gaston. He's not exactly from Seapoc, but he's, they bought, well, yeah, they bought him from his bloodlines from Seapoc. This is Gaston. He's our French speaking Graham. He helps translate when our French customers come by. Um, this here over here. This is Gimli. He was the dad of quite a few of the rams that went through. He originally came from BC. Not him himself. He's our own breeding. But his sire came from BC. And was grand champion of the All Canada Classic. And this guy here is Ferdinand. Now he's a perfectly built ram, but his fault is that he's way, way too tall for our liking. But what we use Ferdinand for, he's not gonna be used this year because he's heavily in our flock, but we'll hold him back for the future because he is such a long, big bodied ram that he makes outstanding replacement use because a ewe who has the capacity like that is going to be a good lammer and a good ewe to have. And the ewes are shorter, so the cross between the ewe and him will make a nice medium-sized sheep. So it's always matching your rams with their ewes to get what it is that you're looking for in your sheep. And everyone's looking for different things. But this guy has perfect legs, perfect back, perfect testicles. Like, the only fault he has in my eyes is that he's too tall. So um, we do not use him on tall use because then we're just gonna keep increasing our flock size. But otherwise, and he's got a great disposition. And one thing about all of our dorsets is every one of them is scrapey resistant. How many years have we used this guy? Well, he's an F, five, five years. Five years. Well, of all the U's we have, we don't have one you uh, anywhere near this height, so it, do no. it doesn't always rub out to use. No, it we has put, to have a good size ram. We 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 do mix and match them. We always have the shorter ones, the taller ones, the lo longer ones, the wider ones, because it's hard to get everything you want in one sheep. So you gotta mix and match. That's the fun part about breeding. It's knowing how to get the correct combinations that you're actually looking for. And see, this is uh, Hamish at the front. That's the size we're aiming for. And I would call that a medium-sized ram. Arnie just let out Casanova, who we saw earlier. Casanova is from the same farm as Ferdinand, and it's quite apparent because Casanova is over the size that we would prefer as well. But again, selective breeding. He's got everything else we want. He might be actually a little wider than Ferdinand too, which is good. Okay, so this is a Suffolk Rito Ram. He's a yearling. He's a triplet. He's from our ram, Snappy. He is a big boy. Arnie's six foot one, so this guy, for some reason, is a really tall ram. Um, has a really good disposition, extremely long, extremely good back. He's got Rito in him. That's probably why he's a triplet. The Rito is really far back, though. But uh, that's Calvin. That's right, it's Calvin. This is our ram Jethro. We used him this year. He's for sale. He's a two-year-old ram. He's a really correct ram. He's a QR. He's a bigger statured ram, taller. He's built perfectly though, that's why we used him.
Like I said, we don't do anything special with our rams. We're not um, hand feeding them or anything. These guys go out to pasture. They're in a feedlot with a whole bunch of rams eating dry hay. And they do get um, about a pound in the morning and a pound at night of grain. But uh, this is a really big boned, correct ram. Really nice ram. What else? This is the type of ram that the 4-H people would like if they want to head to the Royal. Because like we said many times, if you want to win at the shows, you need these tall guys like this. So if you want to, if you're a commercial breeder, probably this is not the ram for you. If you want to show and have fun and do 4-H, um, this is a perfect ram for you. This is a yearling ram from Gladiator. He is not registered, but he can be registered. He's BL237. He's a single. He's a QR, which means he is scrapey resistant. I would classify him as more Canadian style, not tall like Jethro, and not really short like a British, right in between there, a medium-sized ram. He's, um, all our rams, we, we select for those really good heads with the uh, really good ears on them, with the tip, the long ears. Um, we look for good testicles. They're important. A lot of people are overlooking that. And, of course, good legs and back. He basically has all of those things. So he's a gladiator son. BL237. This is another yearling ram. Another long ram. We do breed for length of loin and good legs. He's a twin. He's sired by a ram we used to have. We no longer have him. He moved on to another farm. It was Hellboy. Um, he's a QR. He's BL308. Twin QR yearling. Great posture. going to put a dot on the ones that are for sale. Is that enough of a dot that we're going to see it? As long as it doesn't wear off. He's not registered now, but he can be registered if people feel they want papers. An unregistered yearling ram. He is from Gladiator. He's a twin. His number is BL226. He's not DNA tested. We only tested uh, the re uh, registered rams. <laughs> this is Jax. He's an RR Suffolk. He's from our ram Dexter. We don't have him anymore, but um, he was a flock sire on our farm for many, many years. He's another taller, showier type ram. Really good confirmation. He's a twin. Like I said, he's our, our. Again, if you want the showier style, he's got it. And his name is Jax. He's BL43.
right beside him there is Gladiator. Hey, Glad. Want to show Gladiator? Gladiator is not for sale. Want to put his head up? This is Gladiator, not for sale. Gladiator is a QR. That's his only fault. <laughs> um, but QR is scrapey resistant still. Um, he's our flock sire. Even when he gets old, he's just going to retire here. Very calm, nice disposition. He's a triplet, not bottle raised. Um, as big as he is, he's not a tall ram. You can see where he comes up to on the shoulders um, on Arnie. So he's a medium size, but he appears huge because of his enormous length. Yeah, so the camera does distort it, making it look long, but he does have a really thick shoulder. These are rams on pasture. These are real working rams. The only time they stop working is when they get worms. <laughs> it's not broken in here, like most of them are. See? He's filled out. He's not broken in that shoulder. And he's a G year, and for that kind of length, we normally see on a ram that's, that's that long, where they'll start to dip, because that's a lot of load for him to hold up. And that's, that's how you know the strength on this ram the muscling to hold up that body. He loves the t attention tail. You can't get a better disposition on this around. <laughs> oh, buddies, don't fight. Okay, we're glad you can go out, honey. This is Killer. He's a yearling ram. He's for sale. We showed him last year. He's a QR. He's a single. He's from our ram felon. He's got really big bone on him. So, if people are worried about uh, if people are worried about the suffix getting uh, uh, too big, this guy uh, has it all in the Sammy lines and himself. This is a uh, this is a definitely a smaller uh, ram. More, show you smaller ram. This is more Canadian style. Not a tall ram. Big boned ram. He's got British bloodlines in there. He definitely will not make him big. This guy, will, and he needs a little more condition on him. Tough time of the year with the heat to put condition on rams. Well, they just got sheared because um, they are outside and on pasture. And when they get hot with wool on, they lose their condition. So they're all sheared off, so they'll look a lot better now. This guy has a good rump. And what you like about this guy is, you see his rib goes right, right under the shoulder here. There's no cavity. So he's a, he's a good ribbed ram. And he's got a little bit of a point here, so he's not, gonna, he's not falling apart in the shoulder. That's just as a... This is a ram that, uh, that won't make them big. It'll make, give you nice, nice uh, medium lambs. This is one of our flock sires. We can't keep them all forever. He's um, similar bloodlines to Gladiator, same age. So he's an older ram. We've used him quite extensively in the flock. His name is General. He's 1G. We also showed him at the fairs when he was younger. Again, um, he threw lots of keepers for us and lots of replacement ewe limbs. It's time for him to go to a good flock. He's a medium-sized ram. He carries British bloodlines as well, as you can tell by the good bone on him. Um, he has a really great head, great testicles. Um, everything, everything is good on him. He's a QR. Got a nice belly here. 
And when I trimmed them, I would say this one, I would say of all the rams I trimmed, this one here had the second biggest bones on them, except for Hannibal. Yeah. Hannibal is bigger. Hannibal's but this guy sorry. here uh, has uh, really big bones on him. Big boneless ram. So he's an older ram, but uh, he's far from over. He's, he's a ram that if nobody buys him, it doesn't uh, worry us to keep him and use him again. Walk it up hill on the front. Come on back, you guys. Come on. There you go. Sun's starting to go down now. I hope you enjoyed your day at Utopia Farms and having a look at our rams. Most of you know a lot of those rams and have met them over the years. Um, tomorrow, so if you did enjoy your time, please be sure to give us a like. We're getting close to that 15,000 subscriber mark, like we're really close and it seems to just drag on to get there. But uh, remember to press that like and subscribe and tell your friends about us. And until tomorrow, bye for now.